What is going on guys, the Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BeamNG Drive. And today, as you guys can see, we are back here in in our in our beautiful Utah. However, there's going to be some big things happening. So as you guys can see around here in Utah, there really ain't much to do around here besides what we've been doing. And it's not a lot of here. <laughs> it really isn't. But I'm going to tell you what we're doing here in a minute, but I'm going to show you guys around here. Let's give you guys a little bit of an update. F-150, or I think it's the, this, I forgot the year, but I got the, the Project Ford and the Project Drift Car. So, as you can see, you probably noticed the Ford first. So, let me give you guys a look at this. So, look at the Ford. So, the Ford now has a brand new engine in it so we got a brand new engine in here and if i'm not mistaken um it is a v8 i don't know what size engine is in this truck i put an engine in here it is the 4.5 liter so it's the four 4.5 liter v8 and the truck does run i give you guys I started up for you so you guys can hear it but this truck does run look at that it runs good i don't have a radiator in it so i can't run it long but the truck does now run and we got rid of the old jalopy engine that it had in it which it had a blown i believe it had a blown head gasket and it was smoking and it was literally on his last leg we took the bed off the doors off the hood the fenders all of it is off um the frame is actually in pretty good shape it's in pretty good condition uh, so the truck is underway. The interior is in really mwah, absolutely amazing condition. Uh, so we're not going to touch the interior. We're just going to slap a new engine in it. And then we're going to put the truck back together. Get some brand new like, um, you know, like weather stripping on the windshield, new windshield. Uh, and get some doors on it. And the truck will be ready. So I didn't crush the truck. Over here we have my drift car, which if... You, this, you guys haven't seen this car here in a, in a while because all the stuff that we've been doing. But it now has some brand new wheels and tires on it. So I got the wheels and tires came in. I put it on the car already. And we actually figured out the problem with the, the RPM. So we can now push this car. It actually pushes a little bit more RPM. I mean, uh, it pushes out more boost now too. I'm going to start up. So it now pushes out more boost and we don't have to worry about uh, babying the car now. We don't have to baby the car no more. Oh my. Okay, maybe baby it a little bit, but we don't have to baby it as uh, we can. Look at that. And it pushes out around 12 PSI, you know, I think it was like 12.8. Yeah, almost 13 pounds of boost. I'm going to try to push out 15 pounds of boost, but I want to ease into it because... Uh... Got to hold on to it here a little bit. It wants to get away. The interior. Look at that. We couldn't do that before. The engine would not allow us. It was like, it was ready to blow up. Oh my God, that was so close. Hold on to it. Oh my God, that was so close. I almost, I almost totaled the car. I almost totaled it. I literally, yeah, let's just say I had to clench the cheeks on that one. I thought I was going to hit that rock. <laughs> I thought I was going to hit that rock. I was like, oh, no. But, yeah, the, the uh, drift car is still underway. It's not 100% done, but it's better. You guys remember the last video of me driving this car? We could not go over 7,000 because the engine was literally i believe the it i believe the engine was overheating or something i can't really oh god oh no uh, this car is never gonna get done 
This car is never gonna get done. Break. We're gonna have to rebuild the drift car, but uh, there's the Ford. Let's head out here now and let's show you guys what we got going on around here. I can't believe I just totaled the dang drift car. All right, so update the Cummins. The Cummins is now back in Utah. Um, I kind of started on tearing it down already. As you can see, I took the cab off and I took the bed off the truck. Um, it still has the engine in it and it still has the trend, you know, the, the engine, the transmission, all of it is still on the truck. So, um, but I had to take off the, the bed and the cab. It was totaled. If, if you guys didn't watch it, I go and watch that video. Um, but. The comments got into a little bit of an accident, and I completely, yeah. But here's the front when I hit the van. So it did a little bit of damage. The bumper took most of that impact, though. Look at that. But, but yeah, the, the bumper soaked up most of that, that hit, but the bumper is into this tire. So that's not good. Um, but the engine is what we are here for now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the motor and transmission, my tires off this truck, of course. And I'm going to find another truck and I'm going to put that in that truck. But here's the Cummins total, total truck. But we're going to, and this is the new tow rig. So it's slightly newer. Uh, I'm gonna miss this old truck though like this thing look at this. I mean come on this thing is solid Solid it didn't even twist the frame surprisingly, you know, but Here's the new tow rig um, Big orange. I don't know what I'm gonna name this truck yet. I had it's I Might get some new tires on this truck Maybe I got to see what type of duels they got to offer but it does have a gooseneck attachment, if you guys can see it. Uh, you probably can't, but it does have it, and then it does have the big dually. So this was a like a 2500, so it's a much bigger truck, so we can definitely tow not only a lot, but the Cummins does run, if you guys want to hear the Cummins one last time, until we get the new truck, but the truck runs. Starts right up. It's, it's, it's a very reliable truck. It starts right up. I love this truck. But good things always come to an end, and uh, it's time to upgrade and get something better. You guys are gonna love the new truck, though, when I build it. But anyway, here's the new tow rig. It has a lot of pickup, too. It's a very um, powerful truck. It has a ton of torque. But here's the new trailer. You guys haven't seen this one yet, but it's the new trailer. Really cool trailer, though. Got a good deal on it. It was like, hey, yeah, let's pick this thing up. But let me show you guys it. So it is a enclosed car hauler. So you can put, I can put my drift car in this in this trailer, and it's completely glass, though. It this this right here was what was unique about it is the factor that this is a complete like glass like see through trailer that while you drive down the road people can see your cars i don't personally like it but you know it's unique and that's why i was like i don't know i'll probably get it and here's the rock uh crawler so we upgrade it so here's something new from the last video is I actually replaced the rear end on this tr on this uh, truck or or in the rig. If you guys see it, it is a complete independent like rear like rear steer. So it is rear steer now. So I can activate rear steer if I want it to, and it's going to be really cool because it will actually come in handy on the rocks. So I, if I want it, I just activate it and just I can na navigate the front tires and the rear tires to turn um, in two different directions or uh, turn together. So that's going to help out a lot. But we're still slowly building this truck. I'm actually going to be getting me another project off-roader. I'm not going to tell you guys what it's going to be, but it's going to we got ourselves another one coming. So stay tuned for that. And then over here. 
we have this Mustang GT that came in. It's a 2005 Mustang GT. Um, it had a little bit of a boo-boo, as you guys can see. And uh, I bought it, and I was like, you know, I can fix this. I can fix it. I can possibly sell it. It's a cool, you know, unique car. You know, instead of crushing it, it runs. It just has a little bit of an accident boo-boo right here passenger door passenger door doesn't open but it does run it does run they uh they have a side exhaust on the car i don't know if you can see it under here here's the interior it's in pretty good condition too for an 05 It's a uh, interesting car. Um, it the transmission hesitates a little bit, but it still has power, tons of power. Got to be careful though. It uh, I believe the front is independent. It's uh, I think it's independent or is it live? I think it's live. The front's live and the rear's independent, so. It's some uh, interesting suspension, so you got to be a little bit careful on it. Definitely got some good speed, though. Oh, God. Oh, hold on to it. Hold on to it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Cool. Like nothing happened. But, yeah. I, was, I, I had to get it. I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I'm probably not going to keep it, but... We could definitely fix it. Definitely fix it, um, the issue that it has. I have to go up here. I gotta pick up the, um, my semi-truck. Um, I have to pick up a trailer. The truck is hooked to the trailer right now. Um, so, why are we picking up a truck, or why are we picking up a trailer? Well, the big news here. I wait till I get up here and I'll tell you guys what we're doing. But this Mustang is, uh, it's not bad. It's actually handling pretty good. You know, we're taking these curves at a good speed. I had to slow down for this one, though. I didn't like it. The transmission is, though, it's very weird. It doesn't like it. It's heating up a little bit. It's getting a little hot than I, my liking, but I am driving it pretty hard, so I don't really blame it. It has a lot of beef. It has the beans. It definitely. So, you guys, if you guys don't know, or, or if you guys are new around here, this is the Project uh, Semi that I had. Um, this truck was gray. Remember the truck? It, had, it was gray. It didn't have a front bumper on it, and I was building it. Well, it's done. And this is the truck. It got it painted now. So, let's take a look at this bad boy. But I'm going to leave the, this car parked here for now. But here's the new truck. Uh, where it's not new, but this is the that's this is the truck. It's the project. Uh, this is now um, licensed from Outer Express Logistic Distri Distribution in Outer Toronto, Canada. Um, so I got like a little bitty, little bitty contract with them. So we got the whole truck set up here. So anyway, here's the trailer. Home to home. So, can you guys guess at what possibly, what, what are we doing? If you guys can't figure it out, we're moving. So, we are moving from Utah and we're going somewhere else. So, I need the trailer so we can move. We're going to pack everything up from the shop and we're going to be heading out. And we're going to be moving to a whole new state. So, let me fire up old 427 and we are out of here.
So, we are going to be leaving Utah. So, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss it. But it's on for bigger and better things, like I said. Um, it's not a lot here to do. I mean, we have done everything that we can possibly do in Utah. You know, we did the rocks here. It's not a lot of rocks to even climb in the first place. And, you know, when you really think about it, it just makes sense for us to move. So, we're going to be moving. Oh, why did I take this road? <laughs> oh, man. I just bent my bumper. Oh, why did I... I take the most narrowest road with this truck. I don't know why I did this. Well, let's just hope we can get back to the shop without destroying this. This is not my trailer. This is a rented trailer. I'm renting it so I can move. So, if we damage it, we gotta pay for it. My truck, I have to fix it. So... <laughs> uh... Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Look at this. I've never seen this here. There is a whole construction site here. Man. What is the building here, actually? Huh. I've been in Utah this whole time, and I've never seen this until now. When I'm moving. <laughs> I'm moving, and now I see it. Yeah, great. Speed limit is 30. I'm going 30. 35. 30, 35. Oh, we got a very sharp right turn coming up. Nelly. Not bad. Not as bad as they said it was. Well, this is going to take a good minute. I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later. As I try to keep my truck on the road. 12 seconds later. Sketch road coming up. Oh, no. Just hold on to it. Oh, God. Uh, oh no. Uh, we go with this. Oh no. Uh, well, there goes my plans. Yep, that's gonna be one expensive bill. Well, their trailer's done. I don't know if they're going to let me rent another trailer, but their trailer's done. There's one of my horns and my visor. Well, moving day is going to have to wait because <laughs> I wrote my truck and yeah, it's going to now, they, they, they're they going to have to send a recovery team out here to get my truck. <laughs> if I can get a cab or something back to the shop, I'll see you guys at the shop. Yeah, it's it's not a lot we can do. I mean, I had a very destructive day today. I'm I I I I wrecked the uh, the the drift car. And oh, really? Oh God! Oh no! And now I wrecked my 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 semi truck. Oh no! Just hold on to it. Oh God! Uh, I I, I don't want to take nothing else out because I might wreck it. So. I'm going to end it here. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.